All right, here's our stocked 11 and a half to 12 inch polished Stingray skins, also known as Chagrin. What you're looking at is the, uh, the brown, then the ivory, and then the black. And then we're gonna go through each one of these to show you the, uh, the natural variations in there as well. Okay. Tim, if you would, please uh, peel those brown off. Let's go through about 10 of them. So no two skins are ever gonna be the same. And if you don't like the inconsistencies, which are actually sought after, then what a lot of people are doing now, okay, that's fine, is they're going to the ivory, and notice our ivory is excessively white. We've done our best to get as much as the yellow undertones out as possible. Go ahead. So what you can do is you can dye these yourself. To control the, uh, the inconsistencies if that's important to you, okay? And then here's our black polished. These you'll be able to get, for furniture manufacturers, you'll be able to get a nine by nine cut to create your grid for your table or your wall pattern. Okay. Can you get that smaller, Tim, can you get that smaller black one that we went back over again? It's a new finish that we're, uh, that we're doing. And could you put this on, uh, no, 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 those are the smaller ones. It's an individual one, Tim. We had it out earlier. If not, there's one in my bag. This is a close-up of the black. Yeah, so put that black one on top of the, uh, the standard finish. Here we go. So for people that don't want the inconsistencies, we can go back over it again and put another top coat on there. But the issue is when we do that, it, uh, it hides the, uh, the identifying crown or the center part, which uh, most people identify with the, uh, the chagrin or polished stingray skins with. Can you, uh, can you grab me one of the standard sizes over here, Tom? This bigger one? Yeah. Just one of them. Put it, put it next to here, yeah. So here is, uh, this is the full bead or the completely non-sanded. You can see in comparison, what happens is this, these skins start out the same, but when we polish them down, it loses the contrast and it brings it down to a charcoal gray. And then the only other way to bring this color back again is to come back over with the, with the top coat. But again, it uh, takes away from here. And this, just so you know, is uh, the only natural part on here is, is right here. As you can see right here, there's only one to two s stones. This, what, what this is, is this is enhanced to, to give it the identifying mark as well. And you can control this, how big this, uh, this eye or crown or calcium deposit is in production. So some people like them smaller. I've seen some people that go excessively large too. So that's up to you in production. Okay. Could you, uh, could you get me the, the white on the naked finish, Tim? Just a little close up on this one while we're waiting. Uh, no, it's also right here. It's probably in my bag as well. Just a brown. No, I'll take this one for next. It's the unfinished one. It's the naked finish. Up there, look. This is the brown. I'll do a little close-up while we're waiting. Yeah, there we go. All right, so on the ivory, it starts out, this is completely unsanded. And there's been nothing done to the eye or the crown here as well. You can see it protrudes out quite a bit. So that's how they come natural. So what, what some clients are doing is they prefer this completely unsanded, unprocessed, or the naked finish. And it's like sandpaper. I don't know if you can hear that in comparison to this. But this is, I mean, back in the old days, uh, the 1700s, the fishermen would actually skin these animals and then use this for sandpaper. That and samurai sword handles as well. Okay. 
And here's a new finish that we did in comparison to the ivory. This is a, a glided gold. So it's been polished down and then it has a, a gold finish. This is light and then we can go darker and antique as well. But that's something new that we've developed. Okay, thanks for watching our uh, most recent uh, Chagrin video for 2012. We try to keep these in stock. We have a revolving stock and production orders and pricing are 100 skins per color and then you can control the color. Let's grab, uh, let's grab that custom green. Let's go through those, if you would. Let's put those on top of the ivory to show it and then kind of go through a couple of them, if you would. This was a custom color that we did for another client. Just to show you a little bit of natural variations in there. We haven't shipped this one yet, so we're able to show it here. The way it works is you pay a 50% deposit to get started. You send us the swatch. We, if you need a counter swatch, we'll come back with that counter swatch, which adds a little bit of time. But if it's uh, if you're confident in our ability to match your color, it takes about 30 days. You start with a 50% deposit, and then your balance is after we've uh, finished everything and, and we show it, show it and prove it to you with uh, pictures and video confirmation such as this. Okay, thanks for your time, and thanks for watching.